who's looking to have a big game, gives it back off to Heal. She's going to cross over Munger and go on the left herself and drain the first basket of the game. Heal. Back to Shervin. They're using the perimeter well, the Flames. Oh, and a nice open Shervin. The easiest of layups and a great time for Willoughby. Clark. Trolling against Munger. What will Froling do here? She'll go to the rack. Of course she will. It's Keely Froling. I feel like Sydney should be ahead by, by a few, you know, by, by a couple of points at least, not behind. Heel wants an instant response and gets it. It's raining threes at the key center. Balls at back level at the key center. Heel dribbles her way in and scores. She scored the Caps' last three baskets in this ball game. Heel. Of wow. course she responds instantly. When you need a player to step up, trust Shyla Heel. Heel with it now. Speaking of dancing, she's pretty good at it. Dumps it off to Froling this time, goes under the defense. It gets the finish that she deserves. Shyla then a re-screen by Keely Froling and then just an oh. Thought about the three, so too did Heel. Now she'll drive here, but a good defensive stop from Pizzi. It gets back to Monica here, who gets nice. the three of her own. She was just pleading for her guards to swing the perimeter ball, to swing it to her side to get it in, and they did. Smart, the responding three. Got blocked on the way up. And Monica here, off and running for the Flames. Dancing around Melbourne. And they come up against the Caps next week once again. So they could get back-to-back -back wins if they bring this sort of basketball once again. And, you know, when you look at their, their win-loss records. Oh, Monica wow. here once again. 